Hey everybody. Hi. It is a beautiful balmy day here. We have the garage door open. <laughs> we do have the garage door open Look. because it's sunny out, but it's certainly not balmy. Uh, we opened it because you know what? We just went outside, took some trash out and it's... <laughs> we need to get some vitamin D on our skin. I dare to say it's nice out. It's like 18 degrees, a high of 23 yes. today, but yeah. it's such much better lighting in here for shooting video when we have the garage door open. So we thought, let's open it film our video and then move on so anyway happy heart treasures i'm steve i'm donna and welcome to the show today the show we it's have a, a show, show. Yeah. today we are going to talk about our reselling business it is unique from other people's reselling businesses that we know of so we just kind of wanted to go over how we do things and some people have asked questions about it yeah, so we're, we're going to try and cover questions. all those questions while we're talking about it so, so. let's get into it All right, the first question would be, the first uh, step in our business would be, where do we get the product? Donna, where yes. do we get the product? Everywhere. <laughs> um, we do estate cleanouts. We do garage sales. Not, well, we have garage sales, but we go to garage sales. We go to thrift stores. We go to Goodwills. Um, sometimes our family brings us stuff to sell that they don't want anymore. Like my kids get tired of something and they'll say, Hey mom, can you get rid of this? Yeah. <laughs> so, um, we do it that way too. So some of it is we our own We do estate stuff. buyouts and then yep. we do clean outs where we get paid to clean the stuff out. Yep. Um, it, it literally comes from about anywhere. We have been known once or twice to pick something up off a curb that was thrown away and resell it. There's nothing wrong with that because it's part of what we do. We rehome stuff. Sometimes we do storage units. We buy storage units, abandoned storage units, yep. um, stuff like the that. The reason we don't and sometimes do... sometimes people bring us stuff for free. Yeah, that we've had that happen several times. People are just like getting rid of it. And they know, hey, we want to support your small business and we don't want this stuff anymore. Here, just take it. And that's awesome. That's how we get our packing supplies too. We get a lot of reusable stuff like boxes and packing paper and bags and things like yeah, that. Yeah, we could literally, I think we could go into business and we could do it just off of one thing. Like we could do just storage units. We make enough on storage units. We could just do that. We could just do like clean outs. Mm -hmm. We could just do thrifting like a lot, most, re, like a lot of resellers do. Do thrifting and garage selling. But we get something. bored and we get frustrated. Not with each other. No. Ever. No, it's it's nice having a bunch <laughs> of different ways because it changes it up constantly. And when we do a storage unit and it sucks because it does happen sometimes, then we just don't do it for a little while. You know what You've I mean? You've seen so, our storage units. Um, yeah, we haven't had the best of luck lately. Yeah, we, so we haven't done one for a there's while. There's some in the past. We've had really good storage units and we weren't filming or didn't film back then or whatever. But... So anyway, we're going to keep doing all these different things and we're going to take you guys along with us on things. So that's where we get our stuff. And then we usually end up bringing everything, boxing everything up, bringing it home from storage units, from uh, state sales, whatever. And then it, it comes into here. It generally comes into here <laughs> or into a storage unit if it's too much, like you if guys, it's from a clean out. You've seen this before. This is empty. I need to get more stuff from our storage unit, which is full, to work. Um, over here if you turn the turn it around over here is where i unload a box or two or three or four at a time and sort through it and i clean it up with the wipes and stuff and i'll decide if it goes on ebay or dollar auction she does it differently than i do she will load a whole bunch of stuff on her tables <laughs> i will just put stuff on my table like i'll unload a box, get a box and i'll work that box by itself and that's it at a time i like I to have lots to choose from <laughs> yeah no and that's and it's totally fine. It works for her and my way works for me. So like we're happy doing it this way. We've yeah. we've come to a Well, I get bored. And so I like to okay, I don't like this box. Let me get another one. And so I'll empty it all out and then I just sit down and I just work it all, you know. Yeah. So dollar so then how do we sell things? What do we do? We sort it and some things we throw away because everything does have a shelf life and sometimes it needs to be thrown away. We either get rid of it and throw it away. Or we put it in a free box and every once in a while I'll have a free box out here for our customers from the dollar auction and they can help themselves to the free box. Um, we sell on our local Lincoln dollar auction. That is a Facebook group. There's, there's, there's a couple two. different Facebook groups here and they're dollar auction sites where it's 24 hour auctions. Everything starts at a dollar and then at the end of the 24 hours, whoever wins it, we then announce they can pick it, it up. we bag it, and we arrange pickup. And you they know come what it's like? It you know what it is? We've talked several times in the past about whatnot. Whatnot is oh. the huge trend and it's whatever all the big resellers do. Yeah. Um, 
we came to a realization that the dollar auctions are whatnot. Yeah, I kept trying to, let's try whatnot, let's try whatnot. And he's like, but we already do that. Yeah. But we don't have to do all the shipping. You know, we can I sell can 50 things a day and we don't have to ship them out. They I can't imagine selling 50 things on whatnot that were all like three to eight dollars yeah. and having to ship all 50 things. That sounds absolutely tragic to me. <laughs> well, okay. And so because that's one of the things that we do we are able to rehome more things i think um because people can get things for cheap from us clothes shoes um blankets decorations household items kitchenware toys all of that stuff get, are really cheap yeah we get contacted sometimes about um people wanting to sell things mm -hmm. and we don't we don't have a store we right. don't have a big warehouse. We don't have anything. We have a storage unit, and we have just here. So we don't generally, like, we don't buy furniture to try to sell for a higher value. That's not, like, we reselling stuff, flipping things. It's not really furniture on the high end. We sell it really cheap because when we get furniture in, we need to get rid of it. We flip stuff fast. Yeah. So when we do a clean out, we flip it fast. When we do a storage unit, we flip it fast. If our kids bring stuff over or mom brings stuff over, whatever, we flip it fast. So yeah. if you want to get a high dollar for it, it's probably not through us that you'll right, want to right. sell it. Um, if we do find the occasional happy heart treasure, um, but find an occasional treasure in the boxes we go through that will sell well on eBay, then of course it goes on eBay. Yeah, here I have some examples. Let's, I'm going to show you a few things here. Okay. Like this stuff, I have this little pile I have listed on the dollar auction today. It ends tonight. I'll go over that here in a second and tell you kind of where that's at. But like this right here, <clears throat> found this from the. Oh. 381 buyout that we did and I was looking at this probably gonna put on dollar auction it's a see it popper Sears brand see it popper if you look at it it's very clean I mean it's in excellent condition and so something before like I would that. put that yeah something like that I'm not sure how exactly it works <laughs> it's even got the little bags little popcorn bags in it yeah how fun but something like that I looked on so the eBay Sears brand there we go yeah i looked on ebay for this and do you know there's i can't find any and i looked on worth point i found one one on worth point that sold for 25 dollars, and i don't see any of this same ago, model right i'm not sure what year it was okay so this will be something going on ebay i'll probably ask for more than 25 because it's apparently pretty unique um yeah. and maybe there are some and i just didn't find them but just a quick search i didn't find them so that's going to go on ebay um video game this is a video game and it's just the disc only, nothing else with it. And if I put this on dollar auction, it'll go for like probably two dollars. But you know, seventeen ninety nine on eBay, so I put it on there. But we give a lot of really good deals on the dollar auction. So here's what we got here going on: whole tub of Lincoln Logs, big tub full, big tub plus the tote, and that's at two dollars right now. Yeah. And so we'll be able to get rid of this whole thing. I don't know what it'll end on. Here's a Jeep book bag. Um, it's a rolling book bag with the extendable handle and everything. That's at six or seven dollars right now on the dollar auction. This Cub Scouts, this is a mess kit. It's got like you open it up and it's Camping, got like pan in pan it and everything. And, stuff. and then a couple of plaques, vintage plaques. That set is at fifteen dollars. Um, we have this. Have you seen <laughs> that in a different video? This uh, wolf. We think it's a white wolf costume head, and that's yeah. at only three dollars right. right now. The talks. <laughs> and this is a uh, gun guard uh, handgun case and that's it I think four or five dollars right now um, but let's talk about this so we got this we were told this was brand new uh, when we did an estate clean out yes and it's a brother XR 3340 computerized sewing and quilting so it's a nice model and it's very clean very clean it's like brand new but we opened it to make sure <laughs> if it was brand new or not yeah the the tape and job they had the tape job done so well that we thought it might actually be factory sealed and not even opened but we weren't sure so we cut it open turns out donna got a phone call there not only is it not brand new but whenever they packed it back in the box they didn't put the power cord and foot pedal in it like really but so we don't have a power cord or foot pedal now we could it's an excellent excellent condition we could order a power cord and foot peg foot foot pedal off of ebay for i don't know 
maybe 10 20 bucks for the two and we could probably sell that on ebay for probably 150 dollars. it's a very nice sewing machine but you know what i it's a big box and then i gotta ship it and everything else so i put that on the dollar auction put it on that it does not have the cord or the foot peg pedal and right now it's at 30 dollars. you know somebody's gonna get a great deal with that and we love that we love the fact that people get really good deals with us because then they like shopping with us a shopping what it bidding on whatever if you are interested and see if there's a dollar auction in your town um because it's a great place to shop too to find things to to for living or whatever just go on face facebook and search dollar auction and your town name and just see there might be you know although there's a few in this town they have different names but search on facebook search dollar auction or 24 hour auction or something like that you might have one in your town and maybe you could start watching it's not only a good place to get things for a good price or to sell things it's also a good place to find things to flip too we've bought several things to flip um and then the people actually come like whatnot we have to ship everything out the people actually come here and pick all the stuff up we have security cameras all around the house and everything some people may not be comfortable with that part of it but it's worked so far for us for several several years so that's the dollar auction welcome back donna so anyway uh i think that that's how we sort it then so okay. then we decide what goes where so the stuff we sell a lot of clothing on the dollar auction donna does i don't generally do clothing you sell he sells his not your clothes but the clothes that you do you sell on ebay yeah we do and i do a lot of stuff for clothes on dollar auctions yeah. um but you don't do any on dollar auction really you do not the generally. shoes yeah but anyway, we'll, we'll take you inside. I mean, if you watch our videos, you've seen all this stuff before. We're going to take you inside kind of downstairs and show room. you uh, what all the eBay. So down, basically downstairs is all eBay except in clothing for her dollar auction and for eBay. Yeah. So we'll go show you that stuff. Okay. All right. We are down in the, Basement. what do you call this? The eBay cave? The what? eBay cave? I don't oh, know. eBay cave. <laughs> Yes. I don't know. The basement. The eBay um, cave. And you know what? I think every reseller, if we're being honest, has a little bit of a mess in their life. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was just going to show that. Like, <laughs> we reuse. People save us boxes. They save us packing material and everything else. And we reuse. So if, if I'm ever filming down here, it's usually, it's not all picked up and tidy because it's not really real. These. Yeah. So right now we got these bags full of paper. We have friends that are moving and they saved all the, the packing paper. Um, we have a little stack of boxes that we get from people. Uh, this has usually peanuts in it, but I used the rest of them yesterday. So I need to get some more peanuts in there. That is a bag of packing material somebody saved for us and dropped off. Um, so in here we have all, this is all eBay listed items. And to explain the numbers in case people don't know what the letters and numbers are. Yeah, so when we first started, we numbered our boxes ABC. and started at a yep and we got we had just like a couple racks we had two racks when we started <laughs> and after the alphabet ended right here we went to aa -A. -A -A, bb cc we went to aa <laughs> yeah we went to aa because we were having problems um and then we went to numbers we kept going with letters and we got down to qq and we thought this is ridiculous how what are we going to do after we're done again so then we started this is number one it actually like goes over there but then we started with numbers and we started numbering one two three four five six seven whatever and then that rack back there has all the numbers there and then occasionally here. if something is too big for a box yeah there's shelves with things that are too big for boxes we set them on the boxes and we'll set them say up on shelf. The top. and so we don't have too many shelves that we don't lose things so we just know okay it's going to be on a shelf yeah um so like this here this shelf right here this is all things that won't fit in boxes on the shelf whatever and so, because steve ships every day every week he knows where stuff yeah is. it's pretty easy um then back in this room over here before over we go here. to the really messy room <laughs> this continues on our boxes our boxes Continue on these racks. We're numbered up to 82, and then we go over here. Ah! Back here, it's 83 through 90. 90 is that bottom box. And then we have a whole different set of boxes. Oh, Leslie Bayer. That all start with L. Our cousins. When we bought out our cousin's eBay store, they had all these boxes, and they had 
they had used the lettering system, K-L-M-N. So what we did, we kept all their boxes and we just put L's in front of them. Well, our businesses were very, very similar because we started together. Uh, well, they joined us a little bit later, but we built our businesses together. And so when we bought them out, it was like buying our own yeah. <laughs> business. Yeah, so we have all the L through LX is the last one. So that's so we have three different numbering systems on our boxes. Well, four, and then because behind there, me... yeah. This is all our clothes. If you watched us for a while, you know this all used to be in our dining room and we would take pictures there. Um, all of our clothes are numbered sequentially. They're all in order sequentially. Bad example. Yeah. Um, so like 329, 337, 340, 342, 343, 347. So when something is sold, we know exactly if it's number 454, it's probably around here. We just look for the numbers let me pull this down. I just have it clipped up. So 454, here's 418, 453, and 454 is not there because it already sold. But So everything is in order. So what we do, when a box gets pretty empty, like this one has one thing in it left, yeah. at some point okay. we will consolidate everything down. Oh, yeah, that'd be better. So at some point, we, when a box is about empty like this, we could push this forward, we could fit another half box in here. So I would take the half next box. We would basically consolidate everything down, make all the boxes full, and it frees up a few boxes at the end of the line, and then you just start filling from there again. And we don't reuse numbers as of now. We just keep going with our numbers. Yeah. There's our dog. I don't On and the I don't clothing because and I, like, we're just about to a thousand, but we're just gonna keep going with numbers. Uh it's just easier. So what happened when we were upstairs in the dining room, I would list, not every day, but, you know, fairly consistently. And we had these things all full, all the way down. Let me just show, like, this is full of boxes here. Let me take my clips down. That's his background for pictures. Yeah, this is where I take my pictures. We had this thing, absolute, this rack, and then this rack absolutely packed full of clothes down to about here. We were down to the last few boxes. We were actually thinking... We're going to need a third rack. Well, brought everything downstairs, and now you know what it is? It's out of sight, out of mind. Since we did this and brought it in here, I haven't done a single listing of clothes for eBay. That's why this rack is so full, because this is all stuff, I think, that's going on eBay, Yeah. and I just haven't done it. So that's actually a goal today. When I'm done filming, I'm planning to come in here, get my lights, set up my lights. I'll put the, we have a mannequin right there. That's the mannequin I use to take our pictures and list things on eBay and start filling in boxes again. Because we got a lot of clothes and we got to sell it. I mean, look at this right here. I showed that. This is a nice coat, but you know what? Spider brand, which I think is a good brand. Winter is like almost halfway over. So I really think it's a spider man or spider. I don't, I don't know. know. Anyway. But well, we have coats and stuff that's not listed. Winter's like halfway over. And, and jeans and sweatshirts yeah. and stuff like so that. So that's our clothing area for eBay. All right, Donna, let's go to your clothes room now. It's <laughs> She was nervous about this. Here's some clothes. <laughs> Don't come in here. <laughs> now, here's another stack, by the way. This shelf, we just put big things on, like obviously a roaster oven. Yeah. Um, just bigger things. Anyway. Here's a closed room Donna works in. Here you go. Take the camera. <laughs> okay. So over there Behind is you? right there. Oh. I put stuff that needs to go on um, eBay or what, whatever. Or the booth. Or the booth. Um, and then I have this big heavy rack from Shopco or wherever when they closed. And it's got some name brand clothes on it. And then I'm working on this row here. There's an empty spot back there. Um, listing these things on the dollar auction or going through it that way. Here's where I take pictures. So I bring an item and I hang it on my little, my little string and I put it here. And because it is, this is probably a bad example because it's probably not one I would sell, but um, I put the piece on the fleece and it my lighting isn't very good today uh it sticks 
to the fleece. So you can arrange it however you need to. So I do front, close up for the tag. So there's the tag. Flip it around, back, and then I hang it over here. So the stuff that's listed goes from this rack to the picture board and then over here to wait until it's sold um, on the dollar. Let's see. Down here, I have my to-be-worked piles. And so I go through these bags and I work on the floor. So I sit on the floor, I go through the bags, I hang up the things that I think will sell onto the racks, and then I put the things that I don't believe will sell into my box back back in there um, to go to be donated. We donate to People City Mission here in town. Um, people can come in and get items for free there, so that's where we take our clothing items. It is kind of a mess in here right now, so I'm kind of embarrassed <laughs> for you to see it. I um, guess it's time for me to come down and work down here. I did go in to order lights for down here and in the garage. Did you and order them? The ones, no, the ones, the ones I wanted to order, the ones that like Shed Flip uses. Lonnie and They're Candace. all sold out, so I need to like find a different brand or something. But oh. anyway, someday I'm going to get better lighting in here. Soon. Soon. Because we're in the shadows. Yeah, we always have to turn and make sure we get in the right place. So it'll be nice someday. I'm going to get that done. Just right now today. Okay. So anyway, today is going to be, like I said, I'm going to tackle clothes in there because I haven't done that for several months. Okay, so we're talking about the business. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. Our business is a little bit different than some of the resellers that you might watch out there because we have the dollar auction. Yeah. Um, you can start a dollar auction in your own community if you'd like to, because it's just a Facebook group. Um, but that's our whatnot. Yeah, and we, we, we have the way to get rid of, like a lot of thrifters, people that resell and just thrift, they have to be a lot more picky about what they bring in because they don't have a way to get rid of the lower end quality stuff, I guess, right. or the bigger things or whatever. And we can literally get rid of anything. If we do a clean out and we have furniture, if it's nice out, we, we have we did them. it twice. If you watch our videos forever, you've seen where we got a big old estate clean out. We had a bunch of furniture. We put it outside the garage, and the very next day we did a pop up garage sale, and we had all these people come and sold all the stuff. So, and when we do a garage sale, it's for a dollar. Yeah, we just do a dollar everything, Everything's furniture pieces dollar. and everything. Because if we do a garage sale, it's because we have way too much stuff. We need to get rid of it. So we just do a dollar a piece. We set the totes out. People come and dig through the totes. We oh. count how many items they have and away they go. Yeah. Um. So people like that. Um. But anyway, that's why we say we are. That's why I say we are <laughs> rehomers yeah. of stuff. Because we rehome stuff. Yeah, we're not just looking to flip for big money items. We're... We're looking, you know, we, we're looking to help people that up. don't know what to do with their stuff. You know, mm -hmm. especially when somebody's downsizing or when somebody passes yeah. away or something. We're here for that, for them, because there's a lot of times all that stuff just goes to the dumps because people don't know what to do with it. So Well, and if people don't have time to have a garage sale and they need to get rid of their stuff fast, we'll come in, we'll take it out, and that helps other people get items that they yeah. might need. So, so you know, so we're a in, the, in the process, we might find a treasure. Yeah, so we're a little <laughs> bit different than other people, and I mean that in a lot of different ways. But Wait. <laughs> Was Any, he referring to something else? I'm referring to a lot of things. Um, that's about <laughs> it. We do have one viewer question that we want to answer. I know this video is probably getting kind of long. What but, is it? All right. This question is from Vicki Phillips, 7910. Do you guys list things that are not high STR, which would mean sell-through rate? I realize it may sit a bit before selling, but could list and wait for the right buyer. Thank you. Um, Vicki, what we do is... I yes. want to say, yes, sometimes we do. Sometimes we do. Sometimes we don't because we can put it on the dollar auction. Yeah, so it or depends on what it is. We it depends to on, tell people about the booth. Yeah, we have a booth uh, uh, at Timeless Treasures, and so we take some things there. Yeah. But what we do when we sell, look at sell-through rates is it depends on a lot of different factors. It depends on what, if, how much it's worth. If it's an item that's $10, $15, no, I, and there's... And I'm going to sit on it for two years? No. But if it's an item that's worth $40, $50 or more, I am absolutely fine putting it in one of these boxes and letting it sit for a year or two. Especially if it's small. If it's small. It depends on, yes, it depends on the size. If it's something that goes it can sit, fit in a box, I have no issue with that. But a, a big part of that, it depends upon how many 
there are. Mm -hmm. If the sell-through rate is really poor, but it's like there's 20 listed and only three sold, and it's worth it value-wise, yes, I'll put it on. If it's there's 2,000 listed and only 200 sold, then no, I'm not going to generally you do that. You also run a 50% off once it's been on for, what, a year? Yeah, everything in our eBay store. I don't do it all the time, but like right now through the month of January, everything that's been on our eBay store for a, a year or more is a 50% off. Mm -hmm. So just try to move out inventory, and so we sell things that way too. But yeah. Um, so, yeah, it varies. Everything varies. Everything is dependent upon the situation because so many things change. So... And that goes with all the different phases of our business, honestly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So anyway, I think we're going to wrap that up, don't you think? Oh, yeah. That's we've been long talking enough. long enough. <laughs> all right. We're going to wrap it up. We're going to get to work. And I'm going to get this video done, too. And you'll see it. And thank you for watching, especially if you're still watching now. Yeah. You're our favorite. So thanks, everybody, for watching and subscribing and leaving us comments. We love the comments. Yes, we so keep love them coming. the comments. Okay. So, all right. Well, we're at Bear Treasures. I'm Steve. I'm Donna. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.